The London Arts and Humanities Partnership is a doctoral training partnership funded by the AHRC and eight partner universities and colleges. We fund up to 90 PhD studentships per year in subjects across the arts and humanities. LAP offers a really supportive research community that stretches beyond your academic institution to loads of other um, academic and non-academic partners um, in London. LAP is a partnership between funder, uh, higher education institutions and non-educational institutions. So all in all, you have an, a wide network of support and guidance that you, you, can, you can seek from. What LAP offers, which makes it sort of really unique, is the opportunity for students to get involved with different industries and different communities. So through its cultural partners, we can help curate an exhibition at the V&A, or you could help produce a play or gain sort of work experience or insight into a publishing house. So yes, it offers financial support, which everybody needs, but also it offers sort of far, far more than that. What is really intimidating in uh, uh, starting a path of academic research is maybe the academic and the Anglo-Saxon uh, uh, environment, which uh, I, I myself might be uh, an example of a person who comes from not from an academic linear path. And so it is possible for, for, for everybody. I know when I applied, I, I didn't think that I'd get it. I wasn't very confident in myself and my research and getting the lab studentship really helped me with that. And I'd love to be able to show other students or other people who might not think that a PhD is for them, that lab um, is a really supportive and great way to, to do a PhD. It doesn't have to be that complicated and it doesn't have to be that intimidating. It's not a big deal. You don't have to be this genius. It just needs passion. So just go for it. A lot of people think, okay, if I do a PhD, I have to be a professor. I don't want to be a professor. So maybe you're just interested in research, learning more about a particular topic you're passionate about. And we are all very different people within lab and that's a, a beautiful thing. It's one of the most diverse scholarships I've ever seen. People are, are doing incredibly different things and, and that's also very stimulating. So for me, the most striking offer from LAP is the offer of interdisciplinary training and advice. So I'm using this in my PhD research by working with Royal College of Art. So for example, in my case, I've been uh, learning a lot of film theory, practicing some spatial audio editing skills for virtual reality. And finally, I really enjoy having access to such a diverse research community, which spans across eight institutions in London, as well as the resources and expertise that that affords. Yeah, the future's a scary question, uh, or a scary thing to think about. And I think for me, I am interested in pursuing uh, music composition as far as I can. I'd really like to be able to research and teach, but also do something that has a more kind of public facing impact like museum work. I'd love to live and work abroad. And I think having done a lap funded PhD will help me in that they offer, um, they fund intensive modern language classes. And so I'm taking French, which I think will be really helpful. I hope that I will continue my academic pursuits along with what I do best designing buildings. And I think that's the amazing thing about the lab studentship in the sense that it um, obviously sets you up to potentially work in, for the long term in academic spaces, but also because of the amazing placement schemes and training opportunities, you are very well equipped to go into organisations or art spaces beyond academic institutions. Lab is an inclusive environment it's not somewhere where you are going to be judged by your background or where you are from, but rather on your ability and on your research. It is somewhere that is progressive and 
multidisciplinary and it's somewhere that your research is not going to be accepted in spite of its difference, but because of its difference.